Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Why are we laughing? Because <laughs> I just read spontaneous immolation as a spell. Oh. Just, <laughs> just suddenly... Ah! Is it really spontaneous if it's casted on them, like, intentionally? <laughs> well, yeah, because there's no, like, heat or spark, so it's spontaneous. Yeah, they just immediately catch on fire. Is it because he's a sorcerer and they're spontaneous casters? Huh? 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 No? Okay, moving on. Um, <laughs> so, so, before we go on to this next kingdom phase, there's something important I need you to do. I need somebody to actually roll a kingdom check for me, a very particular one. Could you just do me a favor and roll me, because he works on loyalty, so you're going to roll me a loyalty check. So that's a 1d20 plus 5. True. Anybody? Somebody? Do you want me to do it? What sure. are we yes. doing? 1d20 <laughs> plus 5. I hope he rolls a 1. Plus 5. Plus 5. Eventually it'll roll. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you broke a 10, which is all I needed for this one. Before we go into the actual kingdom building phase, near the tail end of the month, there's going to be a conversation that's had. Um, you're actually going to have Dwayne come up and try to get uh, attention. However, unlike before, he actually explicitly makes an official calling of the council. Ooh, okay. So um, he calls the council, uh, everybody together, and uh, assuming that you guys are, you know, deem the calling of the council worthy... Like, yep, we approve. Uh, everybody gets together. This is Valrin, Elliot, uh, One, um, Rayrin, Dwayne, uh, Edric, and Kithel. Gets everybody together, so you're all in the room. The three of you sitting, everybody else standing. Castle's not quite done being constructed yet. Um, and uh, I imagine we know exactly where the council meetings will be taking place once everything's done constructing in the room with the map. And so when everybody actually gathers together, he specifically says... <clears throat> My network has come back to me and informed me of some information. I've sent them on a little bit further, seeing what they could find out, because it's important to know what's going on in the rest of Adir, and not just in our immediate surrounding. I think we should take this conversation to the other room. And so you guys get up and move your way over to the map room. The map room. The map room. Uh, and... Old young man's going to appear as well. Is he? He might. Just when we don't want him to. Oh, oh! I see what's going on here. I see the. I see them. Help Gwen is a lot bigger. Yeah, yeah, it Ooh. is. <laughs> Sounds like we need an army. <laughs> he starts uh, uh, showing some details uh, on the map and saying, "People have come back from visiting, riding about, and just having conversation with local communities." First and foremost, what I'd like to say is that it's pretty obvious to know that every one of the towns that existed in uh, Idir beforehand um, all have their own forms of government and so on and so forth. We know of Rid, we know of Forven, etc., etc. We've always assumed this. However, it seems as though in the months that have passed since the curse fell, um, you, the industrious ones in the nation were it's just, well, uh, curse fall. It seems as though Hod Gwen has been a bit expansionistic. They have taken over uh, as much of the three uh, branches of the river that they meet in the middle of um, as they could in that amount of time. From what I understand, they're looking to grow even further. As a matter of fact, I would not be surprised if by um, uh, the end of spring, if not by, by the beginning of spring, they've reached so far that they've taken the towns nearby. We, of course, remember who it is that runs this city. And he says, looking poignantly at, um, uh, at Edric. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. <sighs> Indeed. I thought it'd be something that you might want to be aware of. I honestly would be surprised if they became a indirect or even direct threat. I, I would be surprised if they became any more than indirect threat to us by before summer's time. Maybe the end of summer as they're going to start impacting trade. Other people are will less willing to trade with us and more with themselves, maintaining a stronger internal commerce and um, less with us, having that expansionistic mindset. Um, I imagine there'll be a direct threat probably in years' time. <sighs> Sounds like we should raise an army. Um, well, if they continue to increase the rate at which they're growing, 
this could all be worse before then. Raising an army probably isn't a bad idea. Or at the very least, beginning training people. Indeed. What do you think the chances are of them expanding into the surrounding villages and towns and the towns not being particularly pleased about that? I don't think they care. I think they'll take them one way or the other. Yes, but what I mean is if we were to send letters to Forven, Reed, suggest that our forces would keep them freer. Maybe not a bad idea. Are we in a position, and he says this is an open question to everybody, are we in a position that uh, we can offer something to them? One section of an army, not to mention the curse breakers. I mean, we're but a town. They're a massive city with a function in commerce that extends not only within their own city, but they trade with Paradell as well. They have a direct trade route down to Meshtez, which is the largest slave city in the entire continent, as far as I know. Yes, but we have something that they don't. Will? We do right now. We possess a method of transporting between the keeps. Do we? Yes. We do. I know that there was talk of something like that can be done, but I thought you had to have a banner. What did that old man say? Something about a banner between the keeps for that to function? As you said, Hald Gwen is a large city. It should be easy enough to sneak someone into the keep and yeah, then allow mean, a larger force to move in via the alternate route. It requires us to have ownership over the land the keep is on. That's really perspective, isn't it? Surely this magic cannot be quite that. Less perspective than you might think. Huh. I knew I liked you, Valorin. He says as he pops into being in the council room himself. Oh. Rayrin scowls. <laughs> it's exactly as you fear it to be, uh, Valorin. You have to have ownership of the keep. And just because you happen to have a little flag hiding inside a closet somewhere underground doesn't mean that you have ownership. It's not magics that I put there. It's magics that were put there long ago by the mole. I have an idea. Um, not, not necessarily a good one, but I'd like to discuss it. Oh, were you going to say more? He, he uh, when you say you have an idea, he actually is interested in listening in on this thing because he hasn't been to any of these before. He actually goes over to the side of the room, pulls out a chair that nobody else is sitting, everybody else is standing on the table, <laughs> pulls out a chair and sits off to the side. <laughs> we are currently at a dis disadvantage, yes, but what if we had an advantage? We know of a location that has a particularly useful uh, ore and we know of a blacksmith that could work with it. What if we cleared and claimed the keep to the uh, west? Yes, uh, west, and then set up a situation where we could mine that ore and arm our soldiers with superior equipment. I don't think that overextending ourselves now is the best time. That, that will take a lot of time. And yeah. I don't think, by the, the look at the map, I don't think we have that much time. I it's... think getting the, the blacksmith at the very least would be a good idea. Um, you'll actually have uh, Edric uh, will speak up and say, well, hold on. If we're talking about just uh, stressing ourselves and timing and all that stuff, um, think of it this way. They have a lot of money. They had a lot more infrastructure uh, going into this than we did, right? But as we push ourselves outwards, and we spent a lot rebuilding this castle, and it cost so much because we had to go and quarry stone, and we had to cut trees, and we had a very small... They're pushing themselves much faster than we have. Look, we own how many miles? Not very many. 
they've expanded double more than in the same amount of time that we've done this. Even though they had a greater infrastructure, more populous, uh, greater access, et cetera, et cetera, they're pushing really hard. I imagine they're also taxing themselves. They're, n they're known to be a bit foolish in the decisions that they make, if you know what I mean. Edric, who, who would you think would have taken charge? Same as before. Oh, that guy. <laughs> um, what guy? The, the guy who pinned the Rayra into the floor. Yep. <laughs> the, the, like the teller? No, no, the, the, we, we fought a big guy inside. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Um, would, would it be possible to sow some seeds of unrest if it's already looking like it's str str spreading them in? He, like, reels... Uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Dwayne kind of reels back a little bit. Yeah, that kind of stuff can happen. Um, uh, he kind of like looks sheepishly over at Val, cause he, sorry, over at Rayrin, because he had the conversation with Rayrin before. He's like, it can be done if there's somebody to go down there and try to do such things. Um, but they might pick up on it. And doing that and them noticing it might be considered an act of war as opposed to just you that do you and they point. do them. I think one way of doing this that would be not so aggressive is if we do offer, uh, get to the point where we can offer Reed a good deal, no, knowing the deals that, that or whatever happens to the, the towns around them, if we show that we acquire land in good faith rather than by force it might help in uh, pushing more people to our side opposed to theirs I would agree with attempting to persuade the local settlements to join our side in a conflict or at least to be amiable however Perhaps this is the soldier in me speaking. Dwayne has said that how Gwen are pushing themselves significantly to produce a greater land mass and improve their economy. They will be getting larger and larger. However, if we put our power into generating a well-trained army, a populace will not beat an army. This is true. They do not have an ice wall like a Malta. If we manage to break the gates, and they are not particularly great, if we manage to get in and depose their leader, then the war is ours, and we have stopped it before it's dragged out and extended. If we get to that point, uh, I think it is important that we make sure that at least on the lower rungs, we are welcomed. That they are wanting us to come help them. We need to know more about the situation then, but if we, while we're working to build the army, find out more about the situation, figure out what issues they're having, what, uh, how they're treating their people, we might be able to use that to our advantage. Mess messengers should be sent to four of them and read. I think Harad is uh, is maybe a lost cause, but as for the other two... I would agree. Yes, I agree. I would also suggest that we speak to Loshev. It's unlikely that they will see the urgency of this so soon, but it's important that we do not leave a settlement that may ally with Hout Gwen and leave our flank open. It's important that we at least attempt to build up amicable relations with these settlements, nonetheless. If we... If we do not make it to the city in time, and we fight them in a pitched battle, if we fight them around here, and we have Reed and Forven on our side, it will make life a lot easier. He would point to this sort of area north of this, or northeast east of this lake. 
Indeed. There's a much smaller area for them to slip through. If it comes to forcing a pitched battle. And if that is the case, we should look at getting a stable. In a pitched battle on an open plain like that, cavalry make the difference. More than just a stable, says, um, uh, what's his name there? Uh, Edric, more than just a stable. Uh, stable's important, of course, because it's going to be where you're maintaining your horses, so on and so forth. But if you send word out to Varen, they make some of the greatest steeds in all the lands. They have, um, even if you just uh, look at the lands between Rid and Varen, sometimes you can find wild horses. Though rearing wild horses and um, uh, they're young would be perhaps a lot longer than purchasing uh, already bred horses. Um, but the lands of Adir have very fine quality steeds. Um, Hardwen, very unlikely, has horses or a mounted military by any stretch. These are city folk. They don't think that way. Cavalry would be good. I think it they'll be might expensive. Have. He says, Indeed. Ling when the linger. <laughs> yeah. But it a detachment might. of mounted cavalry could smash through many infantry. Not to mention the sheer power of that will break formations and morale. This is on a much smaller scale, but I feel like it might be a good idea to do for now. Uh, the bird that we know flies between the keeps. If we looked at training it properly, that might come in very handy for us. Well, you're more than welcome to lose a hand attempting. <laughs> I think I might keep my distance from that feathery beast. Um, Dwayne, do you know of anyone? It, it, would there be someone we could look at hiring to help train this bird? Kissel is good with beasts. And he doesn't have a smell, so he doesn't alarm them. <laughs> That's a good point. I'm looking to answer that question for you, I'm sorry. Kithel Do beasts. stone people smell? I don't know how that. Handle animal? His handle animal is based off what? Charisma, I think handle animal is? Is it? Oh. <laughs> is it charisma or wisdom? I don't know. Uh, it know. might be wisdom. Let me have a look, because I, I have good charisma. It's, it's wisdom in... Um, uh, it's charisma. Oh, no, it, it's charisma. It's charisma. It's charisma. His charisma is a minus one. It's a class skill, but it's untrained. So he has a... um. A minus one total a modifier on that. I find that very peculiar that it's charisma. How do you no, charismatically no. persuade a horse? It's about your wisdom of understanding what the creature's feeling and doing what needs to be done rather than giving it an inspiring speech. It's not just understanding, it's also convincing it. I don't know. Right, yeah, but I would argue that that's more wisdom I, knowing. I, I'm good at training dogs and I real life have a low wisdom and a high charisma, so I don't know. <laughs> Works for me. Uh, it's a well, that's because dogs I, I have got really low in. <laughs> I, I can understand both point of views. Uh, I I can understand the the charisma there. But either way, it, it might be something worth doing because that would be a fairly good strategic advantage in battle. It would, if you could manage it. That's that's <laughs> that, that's the big if. And it, 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 it's if it's worth investing resources into versus uh, how much it would take to get it to that point. So, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but these are hills, yeah? Uh, where? Let me look at where you're pinging. Go ahead. Um, those are hills, yes, sir. And hills allow us to build quarries? Um, I believe quarries. Give me one second. Click terrain. Quarries. Quarry, quarries. Quarry. It says quarry. cavern, hill, or mountain. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, mines as well, where are they built? Cavern, desert, hill, or mountain. Okay. Uh, and Cory, they're plus one, plus one. Okay, cool. Hmm. Yeah, I think we need to think about raising an army then, but. I think so. Unfortunately, <laughs> we are having our hands forced. <clears throat> um, and so. Maybe, maybe, uh, 
your parent friend might have some insight. Indeed, but I feel like giving him the month would uh, to, to relax without having to... I, I feel like it would be a good idea to let him have his rest, and then he'll come in on amic amicable terms. Oh, I didn't realize it hadn't been the month. No, if, no, we, we're about to do another month roll and everything, yeah. but yeah, it hasn't been enough time yet. Yeah. If he thing. comes in, we shouldn't rely on him until he is. No, I, I, I agree. Um... Indeed. Now, we have another matter to attend to. Information is crucial in war. Dwayne here will be leaving, heading north, I believe it is, into Paired Hill at the end of this month. As your last act, if you could send some messages for me, I want you to inquire about the horses and such. And if did, you can think... Did you find that. a replacement, Dwayne, for yourself? He shakes his head. He says, no. There are people that I trust to give me correct information, but nobody that I would trust to oversee your, uh, your government. I feel as though anybody I put in place would fumble more than, uh, or would fumble or fail uh, more than, than be worth your while. Indeed, I feel that that might be the case. Well then. We need to work on filling that post alongside the post of a general, and we need to begin raising an army. Indeed. Everybody kind of adjourns with, seems like all matters of significance have been discussed. We're going to have to start planning that out, contacting Rid, Forvin, um, uh, Loshev as well, of course, Varen for the horses. Um, need to look at how it is we're going to continue expanding. We need to also buckle down for winter. Winter is going to be a little bit rough for us. Not to mention that they're uh, so on and so forth. And then he does uh, say one last little detail, but honestly, I think this can be handled a bit easier than everything else we've discussed. Um, winter time, you had mentioned that there were goblins. We had looked into the, uh, the camp and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> they've put away no stores for winter. With food becoming a bit more scarce for them, they might get a little bit more active during the winter time. That's probably going to become an issue. Uh, probably going to have a month or so before we have to worry about that. Probably going to have a season or two before we have to worry about even the beginnings worrying about hard Gwen. Just make sure we have the information well in advance. Okay. In that case, I would suggest that we leave it close to the month and then assault the goblin camp directly. They should Recent hopefully be... Experience. Hmm. Good experience for recruits, actual combat. The goblins themselves should be weakened as they're beginning to lower their food supply. Um or the availability of what's there to hunt, and it will be good for us to show that we are defending the local area. Um, uh, understanding all this, Kithel says, until we have such a time set that you are going to make an assault, I will double the guard in that area to keep an eye. And then we can kind of like fold out from there. Can we, do you think, just, just thinking about these, these owlbears, they're going to be a problem at some point. In the spring. They're probably, it's a big, deep cave, right? Not like a little shallow It's cave. something that you guys are going to have to handle as a, you can either send somebody there and make a kingdom check with uh, having some, one of your advisors take care of it, or you can handle it directly. Can we just get someone to brick it up? It doesn't quite work <laughs> like that. Owl bears are well, hibernate the way the regular bears do. They're not oh, really? bears, they're owl bears. Right, yeah, but... They're, they're, beasts. Not, they're, not they're magical sleeping. beasts. Oh. You know what I mean? There's a big difference. They're not actually sleeping. They're just sort of going into the cave to to rest. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Owl bears are more dangerous than typical bears. Unless you're talking about yeah, polar bears. Yeah, I understand that. But, yeah. Also, but, um, just breaking up the thing, they likely would be able to break it open, I imagine. Not if you brick it up with, like... Like, a standard brick rule, they or a double brick rule, they definitely wouldn't be able to break through. One, they probably wouldn't think to smash their way through it and put all their force, they might dig and scratch. But yeah, anyway, they no ni 19 strength, stronger than the average person is ever capable of becoming. Um, so anyways, the, um, the, and because they're large size, you get bonuses for that. Charging, because of quadrupeds, you get bonuses for that. Anyways. But they wouldn't charge. Well, you. If they, if they were trapped and dying. You're welcome, they might. you're welcome to handle it next week. How about that now? <laughs> All right, so anyways, just to finish up uh, everything we're doing uh, right now, um, oh, going into the kingdom phase, making these quick rolls so that next week we don't have to worry about them. So we're going to roll through this stuff very quickly. There's one real big decision that I need you to do for me. 
uh, and that is uh, monthly kingdom checks. So first and foremost, it's going to be the stability check. Your stability check is going to be settled uh, currently. So what's his name? Dwayne uh, actually handles loyalty. Without him there, you take a penalty to uh, uh, economy, right? Ooh. Economy suffers. Yep. But he's actually going to be there for a, he's going to be there for almost enough time to cover uh, not having a vacancy. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to remove his bonus for loyalty but not um, uh, affect economy quite just yet. Actually, I'll do a okay. minus one economy like this. That's how it'll be before he becomes vacant, which causes bigger issues. So that's how it'll be for this month moving forward. You don't got nobody. So first things first, stability check. Who's rolling it? And, and are we changing recruitment or anything like that? I think we should change recruitment. So, yes, very much so. Okay, so we can't do that until after this check. So first things first is going to be making a stability check. It's a plus 15 now, I think. Who wants to do it? Yeah, you guys keep getting better. Plus 15 Ooh. now. You can do it now. All right. <laughs> That's because your 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 uh, castle gave you a bonus. Plus 15, yeah? Let's see. <gasps> oh! Hey, hey, hey. A 34! That means your unrest oh. goes down by one. Hey, it's zero. It's zero. Yep. And it'll go down more because we'll complete the castle, so we'll get that extra BP. Uh, that's true. So we'll get yeah. to that in one second. So uh, then it's going to be uh, immediately after you do that unrest check, consumption, pave your consumption. That's already factored in there for you. Consumption's a six total now. Um, oh, yeah. Let's see. Then roll for magic items. Somebody roll me a D100. Neil, go right ahead. Uh, so no magic items produced by your kingdom yet. Uh, you don't, you don't get them for free anyways. They just sit in the market for you to buy if you want them. Uh, immediately after that is going to go to um, uh, unrest check, not a concern. Assignments, uh, confirm leadership roles and assignments. You currently cannot do that. You can't assign any new leaders quite just yet. And you're actually about to lose Dwayne. Um, yeah, which I think I should swap to Spymaster now to cover it for now. Okay, we're going to take care of that in a minute then. We'll no to change that in a second. Are we Let claiming me. any hexes from the explored ones? Oh, uh, we don't have much BP to work with at the moment. We have 14 left. You haven't, rolled, you haven't rolled the that? economy check. Um, I think it might be important to grab that river now because that will help us sustain a lot. Yep. So I think, I think it is a good idea to claim that. How, how much does it cost to claim that? One. Okay. And so you're, okay. you're you're taking what's considered planes. So you claim that. That's going to add yep. a planes to your uh, uh, kingdom. But it also adds a river to your kingdom. Um, but that has nothing actually built into it yet, I don't think. I don't think you get anything else for that yet. Cool. Yeah, I'll swap over. Uh, next is going to be new buildings. So there was a formal request that was done across, uh, along the way. Uh, the gentleman by the name of, what do I have this written down? There it is, Leon Yargin. Uh, sorry, Yegar, Leon Yegar, was thinking about building a house, but was also contemplating building a much larger home if you guys were willing to cover uh, half of the cost for it for him. So if you're willing to cover half the cost, that's going to be 5 BP. He's willing to build instead of a home, but a mansion. What does a mansion give us? We have plus one stability, plus one law, plus one society. Ooh. And it upgrades to a noble villa, which is... And we're not going to... It's another half-cost one, so it might be worth taking. Which is economy, loyalty, stability, and fame. Because he's fronting the other. Five times four is 20, 20,000 gold pieces he's from. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I agree. Yeah. Because it's Can, a... um, does that count as our building, so we can't look at building walls, this one? Um, you could... No, 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 because building walls is, uh, is land improvements. So you've you've okay. uh, you've claimed a land. Uh, that counts as a land improvement. Let me just double check and make sure I'm not Before wrong we, in saying that. We may not want to do walls right now because we also need to put a farm and fishery on that thing. How, how much is the walls, by the way? Uh, somebody look at that real quickly. Um, and somebody else tell me where on the city you want him to be built, uh, build it. I can't see walls in terrain improvements. Um, There's four. Uh, how big is it? One, one lot. 
Watchtower. And it's not in terrain. Walls aren't under terrain. Walls are under buildings. One lot. Um, okay. They don't exist well, there either. It's called city walls, I believe. Yep, city walls. Oh, city. Two, two okay. BP. And you can do maximum of four because you have no walls right now. Uh, so, every time you might not want to build a wall quite just yet because building a yeah. wall reduces unrest by two when you do it. So it's like okay. a great way of helping with unrest in the future. Um, we could. Uh, where, where do you guys want to build it? In the next to one of the houses, or eventually it can become a Noah villa, which is two squares as opposed to being the one. And it's currently one oh. square. I okay. think. Let's have a look. Why don't we pop it on the furthest left one? Yeah. There. Right here. Okay. You want it to be there? Oh, left one. Furthest left. Neutral. Is that, neutral. Is that near a shrine? No. All the shrines, I think, were kept open so they could eventually become th cathedrals. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, because you can only have one cathedral per city. So. Oh, that's so right. The furthest that's right. left, so we'll have it on this this one here. Can you see yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I actually can't see where you were clicking under Curse Fall. Uh. I don't know how to get like, it to... Lawful it's, neutral. Right yeah, underneath yeah. our... Yeah. Okay, uh, I'll add it right here. So, mansion right here. Oop, I spelled that wrong. But right there. Oh, mine's not updating. I might have to refresh. Yeah, that, maybe that's why I'm not seeing where you're clicking. So, I assume right there. Neil, you can see it, yes? Yep. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. to me. Perfect. I heard my BP calculation stayed. It did. Good. Okay. Mansion. We have um, seven left. So, how much is it to prepare planes? Or the river, rather? Uh, I don't know whether we want to prepare the river. Well, that oh, right. Yes, yeah, yeah, we do. We need to get the the farm and the fishery going because that's the next. That minus is two consumption. So he just increased your uh, stability by doing that to a seventeen, which is great because now you're rolling against a twenty-five because you just took another uh, another chunk of land because your kingdom just went up. Um, so you're actually a rolling in your favor, eight or higher succeeds at this point. So, um, okay, after he claimed the tax, after we built that one building, um, that... One BP for planes. You, 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 um, that is the only building you can build this time, which is fine. Now you can do terrain improvements, since you've already claimed that hex. Uh, it has not been prepared yet, so yeah. you can't, uh, terrain improvement yet. Would you like to prepare it? Preparing uh, planes is immediate, and it costs one BP. Yeah, yeah. That's so, one BP. Yeah. Are we preparing it? Okay. Yeah. I think so, yeah. Okay. Then and we're we gonna... should stick a farm on it as well. All right. Boom. And so I think. Into purple. Yeah, farm first and then the Because it minuses right. the two the two BP cost. Okay. So then you're going to so do a farm much, on how it? How much is the farm to, to up, like... It's like two BP, mm -hmm. I think. So a farm on planes costs two BP. So you're spending one BP for preparation and one for farm. Sorry, yeah, and two for farm. Now. Okay. We're going to apply a farm to your kingdom. Cool. But they, they get us two BP off the cost rather than the one that the fishery gets. And so that comes off of consumption is really how it works out for simplicity. Yeah, yeah. which is good. We need that. Perfect. And then after that, it, yeah. after that's going to be de declare edicts time. So looking at the way of uh, declaration of edicts, because you're doing other improvements, I imagine, because uh, you prepared and you did farms, that is two improvements. So uh, uh, we're going to change the... From pacifist, which helps your stability, to aggressive... <laughs> That's a three point What's swing of stability. Whoosh. Yeah, why is it three? Because you're losing two. And you oh, yeah. Don't yeah. Than you want. <laughs> Do you at least want to go to normal? No, I think I we should push want, aggressive. I would say I aggressive. Aggressive, one, yeah. Hands, hands down. Yeah. Okay. Aggressive. So you declare an edict. There has been word. Da 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 ba 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 ba, and you push that out there. That edict has been spent. Your stability just went Strong back down. Strong men and women are required to fight for our freedoms. Are you taking any BP out? I imagine no. Are you spending any BP in? I imagine no, not yet. You're not, not donating yet. to the economy yet. Then we're going to do the economy phase as a reminder for what you're supposed to roll. It was supposed to be, excuse me, uh, this one right here. Is what you want to roll? 20, 20 plus 13. Is it still 13? Let me just check. It's actually still plus 13, yes. Because you just changed your edict, otherwise it would have been higher. Oh, okay. Sorry. It's actually, you can wants, floor that too, but that's fine. Who wants to roll this? My luck has been terrible, so I shouldn't do it. Yeah, you can roll it now. You can just copy and paste what I typed, you know. 
That didn't work, did it? Because I need to type it. slash roll. Or, or you do the, the brackets, like the way I typed. Nah. Hey. <gasps> yes. Ten. Ten BP comes to you and me. That's sexy. That's fantastic. Awesome. Okay. And how's your BP calculation work out? Uh, so... Oh, back up to 16. Ten, back up to 16. Ooh, okay. Hey. So 16 here. This started with one unrest, ended with zero unrest. You finished your keep. Everything is looking uh, sexy. The castle's sexy. Everything's sexy. The kingdom's looking uh, absolutely amazing uh, so far. And last, there was one more detail I wanted to give you before we fit. Oh, let me roll my D100. Um, slash GM roll. It's only a 75% chance. Okay. And the last thing we needed to go over before we allowed Neil to bounce so he can go to his other campaign, uh, we had talked about the expansion, we had talked about uh, what you had discovered, we had uh, built everything up, so on and so forth. No, I actually think that's... Oh, oh! Uh, uh, that's right. The other guy that was in the room, the one that wanted to say words to you guys, oh, he just right, simply yeah. lets you know when you're ready to take the next keep, he's ready to give you some support. However, much as he said beforehand, he can only offer you that support until the end of the year. So if you take another keep before the end of the year, he's willing to uh, aid you in the cause. Other than that, you're going to have to do it on your own. Uh, um, gonna... Do we get to... Sorry, do we get to roll on uh, those Electrum and Gold pieces? Why don't we do that next time? Then we can figure yeah. out exactly how that works. Well, let's just make a note if you want to write that in chat real quick so we don't forget. And then otherwise, um, I think that's about everything. So, uh, because you're doing something immediately after this, uh, or almost immediately after this, why don't you tell us who you are and how we can find you, please, uh, Neil. Hey, I'm Neil. You can find me at Naghai underscore on Twitter or at Naghai on Discord. There are several Discords I'm part of that you should join because we like to make things complicated. <laughs> so there's a Discord link down below. Click it, join it, chat about the games. There's Kingmaker spoiler chat in there. We have lots of fun. Scott is generally just a bad person having any Discord server. Um, <laughs> uh, you can find me here on this campaign, and you can also find me on twitch.tv forward slash Ollyrun for a very different type of campaign, which is a 5e Yavaskir campaign. Very different, but similar in that it's in a homebrew world. Um, and they're, they're both a lot of fun. All right, uh, Tesh. Hi, I'm Tesh of the Tesh Tube. You can find me under that on YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. Uh, follow me uh, on Twitch if you like, uh, you know, looter shooters, RPGs, that sort of thing, uh, especially Destiny and Warframe at the moment. Um, and also, I'm a part of uh, d, d games with, uh, obviously, Kia, and also with Ollie as well. Uh, so... Uh, follow the Twitter. I will keep up to date on all the things and also post lots of cute animal gifts. And Jake. I'd like to follow your Twitch YouTube channel. And one job. Uh, yeah, no, you, you can find me here. All right. This is the important <laughs> thing. Starting this Friday, two days from now at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, there's a new campaign that's starting. That's over here on twitch.tv slash yes. Brand Go new campaign is starting. It is set in the same world. It's called Aurora set in the same homebrew world. This other campaign is going to be called Regicide. As you know, this game is called Kingmaker. That campaign is called Regicide. The two of them are same timeline, same world, same everything. It's going to be brand new and exciting, shiny and bubbly. Uh, my patrons over on Patreon have already met the NPCs because I actually think the last video is being posted in about an hour for uh, so they can get to know the NPCs, sorry, the, the, the three characters they're going to be playing in that campaign. Um, but the two parties are going to be impacting each other's games if you want to impact the game as well always save up your daddies and drop those daddies when you see fit or join over on patreon where you can send them items and 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 uh increase their bps and do all sorts of wonderful things for the various party members other than that i'm i'm, I'm gonna have to say i'm gonna have to say goodbye i'll be seeing you tonight on lost initiative or in you a couple should. of minutes you should all go watch the Aurora and Regicide campaign and heckle the shit out of Messi. Heckle him. Mercilessly. <laughs> heckle! I hope they heard that.